What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, and for everybody who's new to the channel, please, if you don't mind, hit subscribe right down below the red button, smash the notification bell, so every time I drop some new fire content, you're gonna get notified so you can be one of the first to get the view, right? And so smash a thumbs up, that way I know that the information I'm giving you is relevant, that the information I'm giving you is positive, and that it is helping you. And there's a few ways you can let me know. <clears throat> you can smash a thumbs up, you can subscribe to the channel, or you could drop a comment down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about the channel, what you think about the information. <clears throat> Do you agree? Do you disagree? And we'll, you know, I like to go back and forth because this is this is a brotherhood, this is a sisterhood, this is a community. So everything I do on this channel is for one purpose and that is to make sure that you live your best financial life right and so although finances is not the number one most important thing in life that is finances are great don't get me wrong and and they're right up there with the most important things in life but I always say there's nothing more important than your eternal salvation so uh, that's the number one most important thing in this whole world Right. And other than that, after that, and everything falls under that, then we want to live a good life. So for me, it's it's faith, it's family, and then it's finance. Those things are the most important things. So they're they're ahead of, of finance. But uh, because time you, I heard Shaquille O'Neal say the other day, he was like, man, I'm rich. I got a hundred thousand square foot home because I think he has a home here in Dallas, too. And he was like, but I'm by myself. And that hit me in the gut like, oh my gosh, all of that is nothing if you don't have love around you. It's nothing. And so don't let your chase or your pursuit of money and success ever get in the way of spending time with the ones you love and enjoying life, right? So don't overwork. I know we're out there, we're overworking. Kids are having events, we can't go. Whew, I don't like that feeling. It gives me negative chills just thinking about somebody telling me, no, you can't go, right? And so what I did in 2020 is I created my own yes. I created my own success. I created my own opportunity. And I started my own middleman business from my phone, and that's what I do today. <clears throat> so I, I simply run a business from my phone, and the reason I do that is because it gives me the flexibility to do the things I want to do with my life. So today I'm going, because uh, my brother's a, a, a flag football coach for youth, I'm going to the game. So my brother is in town from Baton Rouge, which is where I'm originally from, and he's got a bunch of kids with him. They're playing ball today. Guess what? I'm not going to anybody's job. I'm going to hang out with my brother, taking my family, because I'm in front of my house now, uh, hang out with my brother, take my family. Beautiful day here in Dallas today. We're going to have a good time. We're going to spend some money, hang out, have some fun. Don't care. Uh, because a lot of you, a lot of you get in the habit, and the reason I say spend money, the reason I said it that way so emphatically, is because a lot of you forget that money is a tool that's got to be used to be, uh, for it to be, uh, what's what's a good word? Not successful, but or, or relevant. Uh but for it to have value, money has to be exchanged for something. So if you pile up a million dollars and you put it under your pillow, you're still broke. Unless you use the money to do something, right? So I always advise you use money to make money. Yes, you can spend a little. Just don't get into the consumerism mindset. So most importantly, invest, invest, invest. And so because when it comes to money and finances, the rich and the wealthy, they think different about money than most people do. Right when I was broke, when I was poor, what were my thoughts about money? Uh, whenever I get it, spend it on something I like, something that'll give me some temporary pleasure. So I would, you know, I get paid, I go buy something. You know, I'd 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 go buy a big TV that was unnecessary. I still, uh, coincidentally, I st I have the biggest TV I've ever had in my life now, 85 inch for our entertainment room upstairs. But I uh, also have two little kids, so it's always on cocoa melon and Sesame Street and God knows what. So, didn't need a TV, right? Don't put TVs in the bedroom, stuff like that. We avoid that. Uh, you wanna be entertained in your room, read a book. 
watch a YouTube video, watch my channel, right? Because I know this is blessing you. But the rich and the, the wealthy and the middle class, you know, <clears throat> so the poor, the middle class, and the wealthy, they all think differently about money. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when the poor get money, when I was poor, when I got money, all I thought about was how to spend the money on things that made me happy temporarily. And, you know, I buy a TV, watch a TV, a couple years, the TV's gone. It has no value. It gives me nothing in return. Can't sell it for what I bought it for. Right? There's no capital gains. It's just losses, right? And for the, the middle class, when you become middle class, uh, you think about what you can do with the money right now, right? So uh, you think about what can I buy today for my family to look good? I'm going to get that house. I'm going to get that car. So when, when the poor get paid, uh, most of their money flows backwards. Money's a currency. It has to flow. So when the poor get paid, and I'm talking about working poor, when you get paid, and your paycheck to paycheck, your money flows backwards because you're probably old people in the past and your money flows into uh, bills that are overdue, fees, credit, everything that's behind you that's already past due. Usually that's where your money flows because you never have enough money to stay ahead or even to stay even, right? No pun. And for the middle class, their money flows into the right now, right? Into the present. It flows into the, hey, uh, I got paid, I got a bonus on my check, let's take a vacation, let's shop, let's go out to eat, let's look good, let's get a car, let's get a house. Their money goes into all the things right now and they, they wanna spend the money right now on things that gives them pleasure right now, right? And then when you get to the rich and the wealthy, they wanna spend their money on things in the future. So they might invest and then wait until the investment uh, you know, grows, they might want to start a business and then let the the business grow. So the, the, when you're poor, you're thinking about your money flows backwards. When you're middle class, your money flows right now into the, the present. And then when you're thinking along the tracks of being rich and wealthy, your money flows into the future. And so that's why most people are either middle class or poor because they don't want to invest into the future. They want to invest into the now or into the yesterday. The today or the yesterday, but they don't want to invest into the tomorrow. So you have to think about tomorrow. So my advice to you is investing your tomorrow. What are you working on? Here's my question to you. What are you working on that's going to bless you tomorrow? And tomorrow could be a year from now, five years from now. But I want you to think about the future. What are you working on now? If you lose your job today, how are you going to make money? How are you going to get paid? How are you going to take care of your family? How are you going to pay your bills? These jobs ain't loyal, like Chris Brown said, right? Something like that. So don't trust these jobs to take care of you. You've got an obligation to take care of you. I would never let a job take care of my family. Never, because I know they don't care about my family like I do. And so the same way I created a business from my phone, you could create a business. Start your own business, get into investing, do whatever you gotta do to turn money into money. That's future investing, right? And so, if you guys wanna learn what I do, hey, fine, I'm gonna be doing a live uh, Zoom training. So if you wanna learn what I do, run a middleman business from your phone without necessarily having to leave the house or having to go to work, then drop the word middleman in the comments and I'll share with you what I've learned uh, since 2020 on how to build my business. First year, I wish I would have made a lot of money, but I only made 77,000 in year one. My goal for this year, $350,000. That works for me. So, and that ain't a million, but I always tell you guys, I know a million is like the fluff word, but you don't have to have a million dollars a year. That's a lot of dang money, but you don't have to have a million dollars a year to enjoy life. You can make 150,000 a year and you won't feel any inflation. You could do what you want, live where you want, drive what you want. Just 150. And my goal is 350 for this year, right? And so, if you want to learn how to do it, if you want to learn what I know, then just tap middleman in the comments and you'll get a link to the free training, which is coming up. Don't miss it. It's going to bless you. The training, if you're watching, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but if you want that training, tap in right now and then. I'll teach you what I know. We'll take about an hour. It's going to be a bunch of people in the Zoom training. And I just want to bless you guys. I th just to be honest with you, I have students right now who just completed my training. They're making, one's making $5,000 for this month. One's making $3,000 for this month. 
to me, that's great because these guys and girls were only relying on their jobs, you know, a couple weeks ago. And now they're on, on a path to make, make decent money. 60 grand a year from your farm? Come on, let's go. But uh, again, guys, you have to learn how to make money and you have to learn how to think like the millionaire. And that is think forward. Think about, hey, I got $1,000 because this is how it works. You give $1,000 to a poor guy, his money goes backwards. Hey, you owe me, you owe me, you owe for this bill, this bill's late, you got past due fees, your rent's late, blah, blah, blah. Money flows to everybody whose hands out is backwards, right? Money flows into the past. You give that same $1,000 to the middle class, they go buy things right now. Their money flows into the present, the right now. Hey, let's go get this, let's go do this, let's go hang out here, let's go buy this, let's go shop here, let's take a weekend vacation, $1,000 gone. You give it to the rich and the wealthy, hey, let's put this $1,000 into something and then we'll come back in a year and see what it produces see the difference in thinking it's not hard you just got to be willing to do it all right guys hit subscribe hit thumbs up have a wonderful blessed day i'm about to get out and enjoy my day and uh it's going to be awesome if, if you want to do what i do put middleman in the zoom because all i do is i have a middleman company called jumping jack movers and i don't move i don't own trucks i don't own equipment i don't touch boxes i don't go in houses i don't do any of that all I do is connect customers to companies who already do that, and I get paid to do it. If you want to learn how to do it, you don't have to do moving. I have students who do the cleaning service, uh, uh, pressure washing, painting, uh, window cleaning, hauling, delivery, moving to, and uh, website design, AC and heating. I have to, You get to choose your own industry. I'll just show you how to set it up, and then I'll show you how to set it up in a way where you can do multiple industries like I do, because I do the cleaning industry, uh, I have I have a cleaning company in Jacksonville, the other side of the country. I'm not even there. You don't even have to be where you do this stuff. That's why it's remote. That's why it's amazing. You can make as much as you want. Just open companies all around the country. But before you open, before you do that, you need to learn how to run the first one first. All right, I gotta go, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Put middleman in the comments. Hit subscribe. Hit thumbs up. Look, stay blessed by the best. See you on the next channel.